This morning, thousands of people across the metro still don't have power. And many of the outages caused by downed trees, a problem usually taken care of by parks and rec workers, but we know they are on strike right now. Bill Keller is live in Minneapolis. Case in point, look at what's happened behind you. Good morning. Yeah, that is sort of the uh, park tree to beat all park trees. In fact, this is a massive cottonwood uh, that has come down. It uh, fell across the entire entrance to Cedar Lake Point Beach over the weekend. Now, <clears throat> it fell Saturday night. And the reason it's still here and has not been removed is because the city crew is responsible for doing just that, uh, removing down trees and broken branches. Well, they are still on strike. About 300 park maintenance workers walked off the job. That was 12 days ago, uh, leaving much of this type of cleanup left undone. Uh, we have been uh, without, they've been uh, working without a contract since the beginning of the year. Uh, they're calling for better pay, benefits, and working conditions. Now comes the second big storm to impact Minneapolis parks since the strike began. Parks and your neighborhood. The boulevard is the park board's trees. So anything that falls from the boulevard, if it falls in your tree, we come out, we get it out. All the, all the debris that you normally do have that fall in your yard and whatever, you put it on the curb, we normally come and get it. Um, so <laughs> with that storm happening, I was in the car like, oh my God, this is gonna be bad for them. Now, in a post on X, the union says that they will return to the bargaining table later today and they will give an update on the contract talks at a press conference later this morning. But the powerful wind gusts and the heavy rain really left a trail of damage across the metro. Uh, the storm hitting right in the middle of the night. It left plenty of broken branches and uprooted trees, not to mention downed utility lines. In fact, right now, XL Energy is reporting more than 13,000 separate power outages uh, and that they've got crews working around the clock to try and restore power to more than 27,000 customers. At one point that number 135,000 customers in the dark. Of course it all comes on the hottest day of the year the first 90 degree day of summer. Tom and Alex thousands dealing with the heat and humidity and they're doing it without any air conditioning not even any fans to try and move a little air. XL Energy certainly has made a lot of progress, but they say they may not be fully restored until later today or even, in some cases, tomorrow. Back to you. Yeah, uh, just trees and limbs everywhere. What a mess. We hope we get their electricity back soon. Thank you, Bill. Thanks, Bill.